Now let's go ahead and configure our Azure Cloud Shell to communicate with GitHub. This will be our initial setup. First, I'll create a repo. So I'll type in the name of the repo here in GitHub, Azure DevOps, and I'll also put in a description. This is a repo for Azure DevOps. I'll leave it public, and then I'll select initialize this repo with a readme file, and I'll also add a git ignore that recognizes common Python files that I don't want to check in. Great, go ahead and create that repo. Next up, I'll go to Azure itself and I'll hover over this icon where it shows me the Cloud Shell. I'll go ahead and select it and this will spawn a Bash Shell in the Azure environment. I'll move this up a little bit so we can focus on the terminal. And the first thing I'll do is create SSH keys to communicate with GitHub. So we'll type this in, ssh hyphen keygen dash T RSA. I'll go ahead and press return. And then notice it's home, whatever your username is, dot SSH ID underscore RSA dot pub. That'll be the file that I'll want to print out using the cat command, C-A-T. Uh, and then place into GitHub. This allows me to do encrypted communication with GitHub and check out my code. Great, that looks like that's set. Now I'll go to my profile. So it'll be your profile here in the upper right corner. Select it, go to settings, and then go to SSH and GPG keys. I'll go ahead and place the uh, new SSH key uh, icon here, I'll paste it in. Notice how it starts with SSH hyphen RSA. And I'll type the name of this key. We'll call this DevOps. Uh, there we go. Now that that's set up, I can go back to Azure and clear the screen by do, doing control L. And then I'll do a get clone of my repo. So I'll need to get the name of that repo again. So I'll go back to GitHub and click on this icon here and then type the name of DevOps. There we go, Azure DevOps. I'll click the icon that says code. Notice how there's two types of checkouts. So there's clone with SSH, which is the one we want, and there's use SSH, uh, use HTTPS. And you notice it toggles back and forth. Uh, I'll wanna select the SSH uh, clone because I have the key set up, and this will allow me to communicate without having to type in a password. So I'll, I'll click this clipboard here, go back to Azure. Next up, what we'll do is we'll clone this repo, git clone, there we go. And then we'll type in uh, yes. And I can actually go into this repo now and you should be able to see this readme file. So maybe the next step that I can do is actually uh, commit the code so that we can see how that works. So uh, what I can do is edit the readme file. So if I go to this icon here, this will be an editor. I can go to this readme file here and make a small change and say, this was edited in Cloud Shell. Perfect. And I'll need to type in get status. And you can see that the readme file was modified. And what I can do here is type in git add. This will add the readme file in. I'll do git commit, adding uh, a change to the readme, perfect. And now the first time you actually try to push something, it'll ask you to tell the uh, Git repository who you are. So I'll go ahead and fill this out. In my case, it's gonna be my uh, email address. So I'll do noah.gift at gmail.com. And then I'll also put in my name. Here we go, we'll go ahead and put that in. And no gift. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do a git push. <clears throat> Perfect. And then this was able to actually push this to my remote machine. So if I go back here and I do a refresh, you, you can see that this change was actually uh, modified. So we've got a full round trip and we're ready to go to the next step.